So um, being fostered as a teenager um, is quite up and down. Um, through my teenage life, there were, there were some testing moments. They were challenging for myself and my foster carers, um, but having that stability there um, was great. Um, knowing that I could talk to them um, and knowing that I trusted them um, with what I was saying, whether or not it was right or wrong, what I was saying, um, that was a great feeling to have. Um, it, was, it was quite hard to express my voice um, at times. Um, I didn't know when I could, uh, what I could say. Um, or if, if I was even within my right to, to sort of um, express my voice in, in some meetings or just in day-to-day -day life. So my foster carers kind of gave me the skills to develop uh, my voice. And they, well, they just gave me tips um, and ideas and strategies. So just for instance, writing down um, on a piece of paper, bullet points, what I wanted to actually talk through so that it would keep my mind going instead of having a mental block and going, oh, that's fine, I don't want to say anything, because that was quite an easy option to do. Um, so they developed those, which then um, you know, enabled me to express my voice, express my opinion, um, and have control over my life. 